Hey guys, it's John with TCR here again. I am here with the Wahoo Kicker. This is their their power version or their top end version. Uh, we're gonna go through kind of start to finish on pulling it out of the box, which I've already done, right to controlling it. So we're gonna set it up, do the firmware updates, put the bike on it, do the spin down calibration, and then we'll take a look at controlling it with the Wahoo app itself. So for this one, this is exactly how it comes right out of the box. It's pretty ready to go. Uh, we just have to grab our power cable and plug it in. So we've got that plugged in. As you can see, there's two little lights on here plugged into the back. Okay, now I'm going to go on to my phone. I already have the Wahoo app on here. So since it's Wahoo, I've made sure I've gone into the app store, got my Wahoo app, and I'll open that up. Right away it has some link sensors because I did have an old uh, Wahoo Kicker at home. This is a brand new one though, so I'm gonna find it. So I'm gonna go into settings and sensors, and I'm gonna add a new sensor. So I'll try setup wizard. I'm gonna hit kicker. It tells me to plug it in and the lights are on. We've got that already. We're gonna search for it. I'm just gonna hold my phone close to it. It's getting the information there. And I'm gonna hit pair. Awesome. Now, it tells me that there's an update available right on the screen there. I'm gonna hit install update. This may take a few minutes, so I may jump you forward into it after it's done there. Okay, so as you can see, it's now telling me that it's successfully completed, but it's also telling me that I need to go to my phone settings, turn my Bluetooth off and turn it on again. So let's go and do that. Settings, Bluetooth, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, we're back into our kicker. We're gonna continue. Now, it's asking me to perform a spin down, but I don't have a bike on here yet. So let's take a look at how I put my bike onto this trainer. There's no roller, there's no things to swish the axles. We've gotta get that wheel right onto those, onto that cassette. Okay, in here right now, is just a regular quick release. My bike isn't a quick release, it's a through axle. So I've got to change out the adapters here. So I'm gonna pull these out, put it back together so I don't lose anything. Because sometimes other people use my trainer that do have a quick release. In my box of parts, I've got these little adapters. These ones just push in. So I've got one side for the drive side, and then I've got one that says 148 and 142. My bike's a 142. 148 is typically a mountain bike. So I'm gonna push that in with the 142 to the inside. I'm gonna take my bike now. Before I take my wheel off, I'm gonna try and get it into about 
the center of the cassette deck. Now I'm going to take my Allen key. Undo my axle. Put that aside for a second. I'm going to grab onto the back of my derailleur, pull it back. Pull my wheel straight out. And I can just put my wheel aside there because I don't need it. And I just take my bike, put it so that that chain's about the center of the cassette, slide the rear derailleur around it, and let it sit on those axle adapters. that through. Here we go, I got it started. Give it that extra little quarter turn so that it's in there nice and tight. I've got my bike on there. I'm just going to give the pedals a turn because I may not be in the right gear. There we go, it flipped, it flipped into the right gear for me. And you can notice I don't have the front wheel on a block or anything because this is the right height that I don't need that block. It's not raised up like it is on a wheel on frame. I'm going to go back to my Wahoo app and do this perform spin down. So I'm going to I'm going to choose this perform spin down and it describes what it is. Uh, it suggests that we should do it about every two weeks. And we're going to perform spin down. So slowly accelerate to 36 kilometers an hour. So the flywheels on these are pretty heavy. So it takes a little bit to spin them up. If you don't have that quick, snappy, strong power. So I'm just going to start in an easy gear, get it going nice and fast, keep changing gears up until I'm over that speed. Once I'm over the speed, I'm going to let it spin down. Just like we do in the CT class, getting it over 25 or 26 miles an hour, letting it spin back down. The big difference here, we don't have to look for a specific number because there's no adjustments that we can make to it. We're just looking for a successful calibration. There we go, spin down complete. It gives me a bunch of information. Like I said, there's no adjustments to it. I'm just going to accept that. We're not going to pair any other sensors right now. And my kicker is ready. We're going to use our smartphone, use that Wahoo app to control the kicker. We can see that my kicker here is blue. That means it's connected. Three, two, I'm going to go ahead and start one, that workout. going to scroll across until I see this kicker level, this screen with a little plus and minus here, gives me my power down in the bottom right corner. So I'll try and keep my cadence relatively similar, and I'll just bring that resistance up for that level up, and it'll make my power go up without me changing gears, nothing like that. Okay, across the top, we've got level, resistance. So I can kind of use that resistance percentage instead of the level. Oh, that got really hard. There it is. 
and you see that power shoot up there. I can also use an erg mode, which I can put a target power in there that I want to hit. So let's put 150 watts in there. And it will do a lot the same as in CompuTrainer class, those blue blocks. No matter if I speed up or slow down, it's going to change the resistance on the machine so I'm putting out 150 watts. The final way I can do this is do a simulation. So I can simulate a slope. Same as in CompuTrainer class, those orange blocks, they're a slope. So I can bring this up to 4%. And you can see it's just getting harder there. Bring it back down to a negative slope, and that power comes way off, and it's easy for me to spin. So that's how I control the Smart Trainer using that Wahoo app. You can use that to follow along with any of the workouts that you have written out in front of you, or following along a workout that Selene is leading anything else like that. Now like I said, to really get the most out of these things, hooking one of these guys up to a third party app like Swift or the tax one is really good from what I've what I've been seeing. I haven't personally used it, but it is a pretty good one. We can hook those up to those use these as either those pre-made workouts or ride some of the routes that are out there. We do have some videos on how to upload a workout that we've built in Training Peaks. Put that into Zwift so you get these nice, awesome, customized workouts that we've built here at TCR for you to do at home without thinking. All you gotta do is keep up with that power. Have fun, enjoy, get on your bike inside, don't be afraid of this stuff. It just takes a little bit of practice. Have a good day.